Okay, so I have a 1987 Mercury Stable instrument cluster right here. I got it because it has a tachometer. Quite handy. Looks pretty good. I did break the plastic there a bit, but once I tighten these down, that should be fine. Anyways, on the back side of the unit, we have two plugs. We have a smaller one, larger one. Here's where the speedometer cable would plug in. So these happen to be the plugs that connect into these slots, like that. Anyways, I've gone to the trouble of trying to figure out what the heck this wiring setup is. So I have a 1987 Taurus and Sable electronic vacuum troubleshooting manual. So. I went down to the page talking about instrument clusters. This one happens to be a non-electronic, meaning it's not digital. And since this one did not have the diagnostic warning, which is the little check engine light that is on the lower part of the dashboard, nor does it have really any warning indicators. There's some at the top there, but you really can't see them. So, this page happens to be from Taurus, and since the non-LX version Tauruses of this year did not, they lacked a tachometer. There is no description on this page. So, going to the next one, I found instrument cluster, non-electric, without diagnostic warning indicators, Sable. And this is, happens to be the larger of the two connectors. This would be also known as C1, which you can see listed on here, I'm going to switch to. Ah, that's much better. Okay, so as you can see, there's an indicator for C1 and C2. C2 happens to be the smaller connector. So, I went through, and I looked through all these, and I tried to label them all. So, let's look at C2 here. First of all, we have wire coming down, hot and accessory run from the fuse panel, going down to the fuel gauge. That's coming in on the connector C2 is wire number slot number 4. Look at that, there it is. Red one labeled. So, and you also notice there are only four wires in there. So, let's see, let's look for other C2 connectors. Here's, here's two C2 connectors. So there happens to be one coming out for the fuel gauge and one coming out for the temperature gauge. One is in slot 6, one is in slot 7. Slot 6 is red and white. Slot 7 is yellow and white. Which happens to be these two right here because they're labeled coolant. And this one is labeled fuel. So, moving on, the last one here, which is a black wire, which I assume to be a ground wire, uh, C2 and slot 9. Back side, as you can see here, there are some numbers written for the slots, and slot 9 happens to be that one right there. Cool, it's done with C9. Oh. So, looking now on the larger of the two connectors, this one happens to be C1. And looking at this here, on slot 10 in connector C1 should be a red light green wire. And there it is, this thicker gauge wire. It's going to be hard to see the color. But it is there. Moving on. C1, C1. Here's one. And slot 2 is a dark green, light green wire from the seat belt warning buzzer. So, just this one right here. You're going to be able to see it. But it is there. So, looking along the bottom here, and slot 9 should be a light green red wire, the battery indicator. And then a wire coming out in slot 8, which should be dark green yellow for the tack. And if we look at this here, I see 9 and 8, and I see matching colors because there's a light green, the red, and for slot 8, you can see, the tag. And see a green with yellow stripe. Cool. So, and moving along, these are for C2. As you can see, they're joined by that line. And 
slot 7 and see one black white wire that apparently goes nowhere or something. And there happens to be that when I drew a question mark on that. And moving along, we have three wires left. I have one for the brake warning, which is what I guess would be purple white in slot 4, which is this one right here. Slot 4, here's the wire. And then in slot 5, I should have a white red wire for the oil pressure warning. And I do. And then in slot 3, I should have a black orange wire for the door jar indicator, which I do. Right there. Now, I am left with a bit of an issue though. As you'll notice here, I've tagged all the wires, but I have some wires left over here that don't appear to go anywhere, and I can't find out in the book what they're for. So, in slot one, I have two wires connected, which look to be light green and white. On the other side, in, s in slot 14, I appear to have some kind of light blue purple wire with a red stripe or a brown stripe. It's kind of hard to tell. I also have in slot 17, I have a white, two white wires with a blue stripe. And in slot 18, I have a green wire with a black or a dark blue or something stripe. Again, these four slots here, I have no idea what goes into them or what they are for. So I really need to find that out. These books, unfortunately, don't seem to have any information on that.